English Tim here. Today I'm doing part two on my production series on how to produce more from your aura, from your main and your farm accounts. This applies to solar, not to lunar. So if you've got a lunar account, check out my channel. There's some extra videos on how to deal with that. Otherwise, let's check out now how to boost the production on your farms. So first up, your, uh, your uh, farms here, they produce resources. So you want to make sure that you upgrade all of your farm buildings to the highest level that you can. Doing that upgrade will increase the base production levels, so these figures on the left, and those base levels will be used to multiply all of your buffs, so you get a, a double benefit effectively, so your buffs will increase more based on this base level. But if you don't collect them, they do stop gathering after 12 hours, so you need to make sure that you collect these at least once every 12 hours, preferably a little bit more frequently so you don't miss, uh, miss any production. Now you also want to uh, consider whether you want to boost these. You've got this option at the left here which enables you to boost. You can get the items elsewhere or you can pay gold. Now this will double your production so that's a massive improvement. It's definitely a good way to spend gold if you're running short on these resources. Now if you've also got the economy gear then that can be a really powerful way of improving your uh, production. However, I know this is only available to spenders. I haven't been able to get a single piece on the solar version of the game. So if I go to the blacksmith now and to the economy sets, then we've got the harvest set here, which can increase your, uh, your gathering speed and here's food production. So check out the different ones to see how much you can improve your production. And if you start scrolling up to the top levels, then you're able to see the maximum production boost for each of these items. You can get a wood production boost of 30%. Silver production, 30%. So these are really, really huge. And then don't forget to activate your VIP 10. Now this starts out once you're at level one even, it gives you a boost, 4% boost to your resource production. And once you get up to VIP 10, it maxes out at 25% here. And it'll stay at 25% even if you get higher. That's still a massive boost, so it's definitely worth having. My personal view is that once you get it to a reasonable level, 5, 6 even, that it's worth boost, It's worth doing VIP permanently. You can get a 30 day VIP from the shop for 4,000 gold. I think for all the huge benefits you get, it does pay for itself in gold terms. So definitely keep that in mind. And then you've got your talents. So if you go to your Lord at the top left, and then you've got talent points here. So if you click on talent points, then it is the economy branch, which is most important for this. There's loads that you can do. Food production here, you can get a 5% boost. Wood production here, and if you keep going down the tree, you get more and more of them. So keep going as far as you can. When you're not in war mode, you can get a lot of boost to your city development. You might want to balance it with gathering, so it depends how much gathering you do. Now you also, if you get far enough down this tree, there's some uh, special ones you can get hold of. Instant gather, that's a great one for when you're out gathering. And if we, uh, I've already gone past it actually, then we've got instant yield. Now this one gives you five hours worth of your resource productions and uh, you can use that every 12 hours. So nearly twice a day, depending on how, uh, how keen you are on getting online. When you apply boosts, this also increases the amount that you're going to get. So if you've got the boosts on your farms, so if you boost these here, it will double the amount instant yield is worth. So if you're going to boost them, boost them before you hit your instant yield. Don't boost them after you hit your instant yield. So you've got your hero council. Individual heroes will only have an effect on your city production if you appoint them to your hero council. So this is your council here. And the hero you want to be looking at is Morgaus. She has a uh, wood, food, iron, and silver production boost once you've opened up her various levels. And if you get her star levels up, then that will re increase these production levels substantially. So uh, she's the only one with production boosts. You've also got hello ways for your gathering boost. I will cover gathering in a different video. Now, in addition to that, you can also increase your production in the research tree. So if you go to the economy branch, there's a lot here, food production, wood production, iron production. So these ones are all definitely worth checking out. 10% boost there, 10% boost there. The further you go down the tree, the more expensive it becomes, but you can see the boosts are up to 20% now. So these are massive improvements. So keep working your way down that tree. Hopefully that will improve your, uh, improve your situation.
So I am English Tim, thanks for watching this video. If you're enjoying my content, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell if you want to be updated about my upcoming videos. On my channel you'll also see more on different ways of getting your resources up, so I've got uh, various videos there for, uh, for Luna in this case, and I will be making more videos on solar for uh, gathering resources and the like. And thanks for watching this video.